Discretion is the better part of valor, which is said to mean that caution is superior to rash and impulsive bravery. And um, I was thinking about this today because I think I mentioned in a previous video that my starter on my car was shot and so I had to um, figure out how to replace it if I was going to do it myself in the driveway on jack stands or if I was going to bring it to a mechanic, something like that. And uh, at first I felt the urge and the desire to spare myself the, uh, of incurring a very, um, you know, expensive bill that is uh, many times over inflated from the mechanics and stuff like that because placing a starter is quite simple. But on my particular car, without a lift, laying on your back in a driveway, uh, not having much leverage and you know, it was all the way in the back and way up there. So, you know, um, swivel sockets were needed, extensions, all this sort of thing. And uh, it would have been extremely aggravating and extremely trying. And there's no doubt that it would have been a great learning experience and a great test of the virtues of patience and um, even tempered and um, an idea in your head about the overarching picture not getting enchanted and caught up in the little particulars that are very illusory but anyway that was the way I was going to go in the beginning but as I thought about it I decided to go the route of the mechanic and uh, they say that you should be quick to make a decision not be indecisive not be um overanalyzing, not be lapsing in uh, lacking in the courage necessary to trust in yourself, believe in your uh, discernment and make a decision. And then if you're to alter that decision or change it, you should do so extremely slowly, if at all. So it's something I struggle with and uh, where to find that middle ground because a lot of times when you make decisions quickly, they are impulsive. You don't have, um, you don't have in your sights, the uh, the full target, so to speak. You know, you haven't thought all of the details through, and you can never do that. There's always room for uh, nature to insert itself and its serendipitous, um, predetermined moments, whatever you want to consider them to be. So, um, I decided to go with the mechanic and. As uh, he was doing the work, I was thinking that I had made the right decision. And, um, but I was also thinking about, you know, what aspects of myself could I have unlocked by doing it myself, by subjecting myself to an arduous and uh, very trying task, you know, seeing if I really have the virtue necessary to get me through it and not succumb to uh, effeminate and and uh, counterproductive displays of emotion and things of that sort. But anyway, I chose to go with the mechanic and uh, he actually lives close to where I live so he gave me a break, I didn't have to get it towed because he had a, some sort of contraption to bring it to his shop and so I saved money there and he saved me money, you know, because the mechanics always upcharge you but he gave me a fair price and I saw the work that he did, it was quite a bitch to do it so I just picture myself in that driveway struggling and yes, it would have been as I said a learning experience and uh, repairing a starter isn't hard at all, it's just that the location of it and uh, not having a lift and the heat outside and that sort of thing but I've done a lot of repairs myself so uh, you know it's uh, not a big deal and I'm sure that I can do others but I guess uh, the point of this video is that a lot of times discretion is the better part of valor and uh, 
It's not walking away with your tail between your legs and you could think about it till you're blue and try to rationalize either side of the argument. Um, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide because you are the perceiver and the only meaning is that which you ascribe. So I just, I guess, want to um, encourage people out there sometimes be cautious and uh, even though you can do something, doesn't mean that you necessarily should but again it's up to you to be able to decide that for yourself and either way that you go is going to be a learning experience because um, you know there are things that are going to test you and try you on both sides of the fence so that's what I was thinking about if you guys want to leave your comments and your point of view and perspective on uh, this subject I'd be interested to read those and you know let me know what you think the virtuous middle ground is there and uh, how you go about making that sit those decisions and um, when do you know when you absolutely should decide quickly and when do you know when you should step back and uh, be a little bit more discerning so like the video, leave your comments, like I said, your suggestions, your feedback, anything you want me to talk about. If you want my advice on something, if you want my perspective on something, I'd be happy to do that. If I could lend some uh, uplifting words or tough love or whatever the case may call for. The um, point of these videos is to help those who are struggling and need to hear these messages and uh, don't necessarily know how to confront their suffering and all these sorts of things. but. Maybe these messages can help someone as I found messages that helped me when I was in very hard times and things like that. So through the gifts that I've been given, I wish to have a positive and profound impact on the collective and stuff like that. And uh, keep in mind your suffering is not about you. It's to just as the uh, blade is thrust into the flame and is strengthened and solidified and that sort of thing, so too are we when we confront our suffering trials and tribulations which are absolutely necessary to our saga and our story, when we confront them with the proper orientation of mind, body, spirit, emotion, all these things, that we extract only the highest of vibration and we consider them to be the ultimate blessings and teachers and instigators for growth, the manifestation of the ultimate self that they are, and they allow us to facilitate God's ultimate purpose for us and most importantly have a profound and positive and uplifting impact on those who we encounter and everyone in the collective. So keep in mind your suffering is not about you, it never was. Um, subscribe to this channel, share the videos, I appreciate that. Check out my other channel, Ray Rivera, I do art and music, subscribe there as well. And thanks for watching.